everybody, Tom Davis here, America's Canine Educator. Sorry I've been off the YouTube for about a week. Uh, we've been crazy busy with a bunch of different projects. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about a topic that I find is important for dog owners and dog trainers. And the topic of discussion quickly today is going to be why do successful and good dog trainers fail? The easiest answer I can answer this in is simply because of dog owners not understanding the process of proper dog training. Meaning, a lot of times, or in my case for sure, specifically is, is when a dog comes in, chances are the behaviors that they have been given or that the unwanted behaviors that they don't like, that they're paying to get rid of, has been taught, whether you know it or like it or not. Meaning, if your dog is anxious, if your dog is, is, is aggressive, if your dog is jumping on people when they come into the door, if your dog is pulling on the leash, all of these things are taught simply because they're, they're and the way that I put it is it's very simple for people to understand that if you're not doing anything about the behavior, meaning if you're not telling the dog that the behavior is wrong, then you're simply enforcing it which means it's taught. So if your dog jumps on people, but you're, you're not doing anything that is actually effective or efficient to tell the dog that it's not okay, in my perspective, you're, you're teaching the dog that that's, that's okay. Meaning, if you don't fix it, you're enabling it and you're teaching it that, that, that that's fine. And so, moving forward, I think it's important for people to understand the proper dog training process. And it's not a magic wand, it's not a secret pill, it's not fairy dust. Very simply, dog training is, is like you going to a personal trainer for fitness. You want, a, you want an image of, of what you want your dog to be or your goals or your expectations of what you want your puppy or your older dog to, to be or create or become. And you're going to go to somebody who already has these things, which means if you come in and you see one of my dogs or one of my other clients demoing all the things that you've ever hoped and dreamed for, you're going to then sign up for classes and just assume that that's where you're going to be. You can get there. However, you have to put in the same amount of work to get to that place. Breeds definitely um, will dictate and throw different shades over things, meaning certain breeds can get to places faster. But... More importantly, I think it's it's important for anybody out there under under the circumstances of trying to find a good dog trainer or just thinking about dog training or even dog trainers that are new um, or, or seasoned vets. I think it's important for us to understand the process of good dog training and getting the product that we actually want. And so anyway, um, I think a lot of people are just confused about the, the process. They, they think that um, I had a client come in today, they had anxiety issues for an example. The dog was anxious, the dog is spinning around, not knowing what to do, um, but their biggest concern was he, he was aggressive at people coming into the house, which is a threshold issue. And I simply told them that I could fix the problem in less than five minutes, but it's not going to show them how to do it, and it's not going to reveal the real issue, which is, which is lack of uh, communication, lack of leadership, lack, lack of confidence in the dog, which means the dog is only going to perform if I'm in the room or if I have the leash, which isn't important. So I think, it's, I think it's just crucial for people to understand the process of these things, and I know that I've said that multiple times, but it really, really plays a big role, that if you want something, you're going to have to put in the work. So good dog trainers fail because the clients don't follow through with all the things that they want to do. But I think more importantly, the reason why I'm making this video is because dog owners assume that just because they're paying X amount of money or they're going into a dog training facility anywhere in the world, that their problems are going to be disappeared or their problems are going to go away. And that's only the case is if you put in the work in order to get to that location. Again, it's much like if I was a music teacher and you brought me a violin that didn't work any longer and I tuned it up and played it beautifully, which means I'm going to give it back to you and if you break strings and out of tune, that's your fault. Your job as a dog owner is to simply make sure that you follow through with everything that the dog trainer or the, or the do professional dog trainer uh, recommends and prefers and tells you what to do. And it's a process. And... If you go home and don't do anything, your money is going to be wasted, your time is going to be wasted, but more importantly, the dog isn't going to change the behaviors that you want. And I think that that's something that a lot of people have a misconception of, um, where a lot of other services, such as car services, your, your, your check engine light's on, you're going to pay that, that tech or that mechanic to fix that problem for you. 
Um, there's so many different variables I can put in there, but um, it's, it's, it's much like music teaching. It's much like physical fitness as, as well. Um, you have to put in the work. Just because you pay somebody 700 to 2500 to $5,000, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get the finished product and nothing's ever going to go out of, out of tune. I've had many, many times dogs spend a lot of times with us in our board and train program, and the dog leaves here exactly what the owner wants. From step A to step B, we checked everything on the list, and within two weeks, the dog completely unravels, and we'll get an email saying that the dog is unraveled, and we simply blame it on the owner. And I think that that's the most important thing to understand, people, that the whole dog training process is a lot different than what you think. I have people kind of wide eyes and, and really just um, taken back by the process of how much I go in depth about the problem and the real issues and the theory behind why their dogs are doing the things they do when really they just want me to take the dog and just fix it really quick it, like it's like it's like a broken little thing um, where it's mechanically just just fixed and sometimes but rarely that's the case a lot of times you are the issue you are the problem you have taught this dog behavior that you don't like and you're actually paying to get rid of and so you have to understand that um, in order to get better and in order to understand your dog's behavior and the issues, you have to put in the work at home. You have to make sure that you understand everything and fully ask questions, take notes. I recommend people to take videos as I'm working with their dog because you're paying for the experiences that, that we have as dog trainers and dog professionals. You're paying for how many times I've done that, how many different dogs, how many different breeds that I've done that for. That's where you're getting the information. There's no point in bringing your dog into somebody that is a professional dog handler and, and expect them to fix the issue. You walk out the door and it's fixed. They're animals. They're only fixed and they're only, the behaviors are only curbed because of the handler. And if you can't mimic or you can't understand where the dog trainer or the handler didn't get um, these, these techniques and don't know how to get there, two things. You either need to make sure you hire a dog trainer that can teach you these things, which they talk a lot more than they act, um, where on the contrary of people thinking that me talking a lot of my sessions is a bad thing, uh, when actuality, I'm actually trying to stuff as much information as I possibly can into the problem, which is the owner's, um, because there's no point in you coming into my facility and, and seeing if I'm good at handling dogs. There's no point in that. Uh, I really am passionate about teaching people these things, and I think that I just wanted to put that out there, that dog owners understand that it's a process, it's a journey, it's, it's a team with your dog trainer, and dog trainers, um, I would try to instill more information so you're more successful with your clients and really just tell them that you as a dog trainer are going to help them and you can help them, and if they follow through and they do the homework and they ask questions, they will be successful, but if you don't do anything, you will fail. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, please like, subscribe if you're not subscribed to me. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos here uh, per usual. Last couple weeks, we've been crazy doing a bunch of cool stuff. So anyway, subscribe, like, share. I hope all is well, uh, and I will talk to you guys soon.